Hello everyone, this is Miss Lily again. Hope you had fun shading with my last video. If you haven't watched that video yet, I suggest that you watch that video first because in this video, we are going to use those techniques that we have learned and draw a simple flower and vase. This is designed to be simple, something that gets you started on applying those pencil shading techniques into use. Yet, you can still get great results. Maybe even draw these on your handmade thank you cards for people. For this one, I allow and recommend everyone to take on the courage to practice creativity. I look forward to seeing all kinds of modifications to the flowers and bases. But first, you can follow or watch my demo first before creating your own versions. Color pencil version follow the same steps as the pencil version. Use only one single color pencil for each vase and its flowers. This way you can really see and feel the different tones you have created with the shading techniques we've learned together. I will demonstrate both versions so you can see how it will look like in pencil and in color pencil. Now, use your finger and point to the very center of your paper. Draw a horizontal line there. This is going to be the top of your vase. Then draw both sides of the vase. You can try your best to stay symmetrical, but don't worry if they are not symmetrical. That is not our goal. You guys are free to create any shaped vase as you want. Now let's imagine there is a sun shining here at the upper right hand corner of our page. You don't have to draw the sun, but I'm just drawing to show you to remind us that it's there. So whatever is closer to the sunlight will appear lighter. And whatever is farther away from the light will generally appear darker. Um, let's just keep that in mind. Somewhere above our vase, I'm going to draw the center of my flowers using light scribbles. Then add even more scribbles or darker scribbles at around the lower left area. Then add three large petals with some spacing in between each. Then add three more smaller petals in between the large ones. Now do the same things twice more. Draw the stem for each flower with a simple, slightly curved line. Now, let's draw some leaves. Draw leaf shape with two curves touching each other at both ends. Then draw a straight line across the shape. The left side of the vase is going to appear darker since it's farther away from the light source. First, use hatching technique. Then use cross hatching technique to emphasize the darkest areas of the vase. For each petal, I'll be using hatching to make the inner parts that's closer to the center of the flower darker, and gradually sketch lighter and lighter as we hatch toward the outer areas of the petal.
for each of the leaves, evenly shade a dark tone on the side of the leaf that's farther away from the light source. I'll let you be the judge on whichever should be darker. Whichever side you decide on, I believe is the best decision. Then evenly shade a light tone on the opposite side. Finally, let's draw the shadow using pressure control. Usually I like to give the shadow area a very light outline so I know where I'll be shading. Then shade from dark to light. Starting from the area that's touching the bottom of the vase. So go lighter and lighter and then eventually fade out. You are not done with the artwork until you've signed your name. And remember to put today's date as well. Voila, you are done with this simple and beautiful flower and vase. You can turn these simple flower and vase drawings into greeting cards. Very cute, special, and doesn't take too long to draw. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know how it goes. I'm so excited to see everyone's versions. Feel free to send me photos of your final work. Um, have a good rest of the day or evening. Own your courage and practice creativity. See ya!